Hi, Mr. Richards here. Today's Grade 6, Unit 2, Lesson 6, Practice Problem Review is on introducing double number line diagrams. In question 1, a particular shade of orange paint has two cups of yellow paint for every three cups of red paint. On the double number line, circle the number of cups of yellow paint and red paint needed for three batches of orange. Well, they want that circled. One batch was two yellow to three red. And so that is one batch here. Well, if I double that, that's two batches, and two batches is this four to six. And so lastly, for our orange paint here, to triple the original, and if I circle this one here, it's six cups of yellow to three of red. Now, the next question. This double number line diagram shows the amount of flour and eggs needed for one batch of cookies. Complete the diagram to show the amount of flour and eggs needed for two, three, and four batches of cookies. Well, the flour is going up by five, so five, 10, 15, 20. The eggs are going up by three, three, six, nine, 12. So, check. What is the ratio of cups of flour to eggs? Well, flour is five to three. Then, how much flour and how many eggs are used in four batches of cookies? Well, four batches of cookies, well, here's one batch, two batch, three batch, four batches. So four batches, when it says flour and eggs, it's going to be 20 cups of flour to 12 eggs. How much flour is used with six eggs? Well, that's going to be right here. That's our second batch, or double batch. It's going to be 10 cups. And lastly, how many eggs are used with 15 cups of flour? Well, here's our 15 cups of flour. It's going to be nine eggs. Let's continue on. Question three, here is a representation showing the amount of red paint, or red and blue paint that make two batches of purple paint. On the double number line, label the tick marks to represent amounts of red and blue paint used to make batches of the shade of purple paint. Well, for this is a double batch, so one and two. Our single batch had three cups of red to two cups of blue. So if we just increase by three here, we have three, six, nine, 12 for our red, and two, four, six, eight for our blue. How many batches are made with 12 cups of red paint? Well, this is a single batch, a double batch, a triple batch, a quadruple batch. So 12 cups is going to be four batches. Then, how many batches are made with six cups of blue paint? Here's the six, and it looks to be three batches. As we continue on to question four, Diego estimates that there will need to be three pizzas for every seven kids at his party. Select all the statements that express this ratio. Well, the ratio of kids to pizzas is seven to three. Is that true? Well, kids is seven, pizzas are three, kids, pizza, seven, three, that is a true statement. The ratio of pizza to kids, if we reverse it, is three to seven. That's also true. The ratio of kids to pizzas is three to seven. Well, no, that's the ratio of pizza to kids, so C is not true. Indeed, the ratio of pizzas to kids is seven to three. Pizza to kids, seven to three. No, it's three to seven, so that's not true. For every seven kids, there needs to be three pizzas, and that is true. Continuing on. Draw a parallelogram that is not a rectangle that has an area of 24 square units. Explain or show how you know that the area is 24 square units. Well, if area of parallelogram is equal to base times height. So when I take 6 times 4, that gets me to 24. I could do 12 and 2. I could do 3 and 8, but let's focus in on the 6 and 4. If I draw 
a base here. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. And it can't be a rectangle. So my height cannot be straight up. But if I draw, say, in here, four up, and call that my height, and then go one, two, three, four, five, six out for my other base. I can then connect these segments and have a parallelogram. Now, explain or show how you know, what if I take this rectangle, or this triangle, excuse me, out here? and move it to over here. Then I would have this rectangle that is 6 by 4. And then all area is length times width, so there it is. And an axe question. Draw a triangle that has an area of 24 square units. Explain or show how you know that the area is 24 square units. Well, we can still follow the same base time height idea, except when I take, say, 6 times 4, that gets me an area of, this time, 12. Because base times height divided by 2 is how we find the area of a triangle. And so, what if I say 6 times 8? 6 times 8 is 24. I'm sorry, 6 times 8, hello, is 48. Divided by 2 is 24. Let's just go with that one, 6 and 8. If I have a base of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and I go straight up here, 8 units. I hope I made enough. 3, 4, Five, six, seven, that's eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I, it is, I got lucky there. That is exactly eight up and a base of six. And so now, oops, sorry about that. Now I can come down here and draw in that really straight line there for the triangle. Now, what if, to prove this, I draw another rectangle. What if I take this half of the triangle and I move it over here? Well, be three over and six down. And now I have a rectangle that is eight by three and eight times three is 24. Well, that is it for this grade six Unit 2, Lesson 6, Practice Problems Review on Introducing Double Number Line Diagrams. Good luck!